We are talking about playing in the same playground with yes. everyone here. And, and a lot to talk about. One of the things I wanted to ask was, what are you seeing trending when it comes to um, aging in place versus housing, condos versus homes? Um, are you seeing a shift in the demographics with, let's say, my dad's here today, he's 90 versus 60, but everyone still is looking for the next place to live. The common denominator is everyone wants to downsize. Okay. Mm. All right, that's the common denominator. Um, everyone wants to live on one level, okay. not multi-stories. Um, I never realized how important that was. Oh, gosh. You yeah, know? When he's, especially when he's talking about occupational therapy, you know, yes. going into the home, mm -hmm. stair steps, ramps. And that's the beautiful thing about the Cypress. It's all on one level. Mm -hmm. um, there's no reason that you can't transfer from... A to B from the clubhouse, walk to the to the dining room, to your apartment, to your cottage. Um, I, I think again, again, the biggest the biggest thing is downsizing. Um, what does that look like? It looks like if you're in a currently in a three thousand square foot home, folks typically downsize about a third. Okay. And I've been doing this a long time. Believe it or not, that's that's, that's sort of my measure. That's my formula. I have had some folks downsize even more, but um, about a third. So that's like 2,100 square foot home mm -hmm. or or an apartment or villa. Um, and you know what Carrie was talking about, you guys have been talking about making sure that the home is adaptable and kind of universally designed for people at any age. Is that something that's important to people or is that something that we need to educate people more on? Well, actually, what, yeah. what you're talking about aging in place, sure, they are. They're looking when they're moving into Cyprus and our average age moving in is around 75. Okay. So they are looking at what my 95-year-old self is going to look like. Will I still be driving? Will I need a car? Okay. Um, I... I you know, so it's so cute. I have folks on my wait list, and this one couple who just recently bought the Cypress, it was a real head scratcher, and I'll use them as an mm -hmm. example. They initially came to me five years ago, I want a cottage. I have all these tools, and, and mm -hmm. I'm a woodworker, and I, and I want to you know, have a, a, a house with a garage to have, keep all my stuff. And then the wife, and then a couple years go by, don't purchase anything. Then the wife's like... You need to get rid of your stuff, honey. We need to buy an apartment. Mm -hmm. So we go through that. The we whole go, we go through all, Yeah, we go back to the apartments. We look. And then they came back a couple weeks ago. We want a house. <laughs> oh, really? So yep. he had to keep his stuff? Uh, oh, my <laughs> gosh. Yeah. yeah. So, but no, but they bought a smaller house on the smaller side. Not, okay. not, not, not the size yeah. they had been looking at. And it has a smaller garage. Yeah. So, you can so it's a great so compromise. Less stuff, but it's good. But it's a great compromise. And that's the one thing about the Cypress. We're all about compromise. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this, Carrie, with talking about that. When you're doing OT or PT and you're trying to, to return people to their activities of daily living. Mm -hmm. Do you all set goals like like your gentleman is like, okay, well maybe I can't do what I used to, but let me help you kind of determine what you can do? Oh, absolutely. And goal setting is an important part of kind of the recovery process. And you wanna, you know, start out small and make sure, cause everybody feels good when you mm -hmm. accomplish a goal. You yeah, know? Oh yeah. And um, I've right? seen, yeah, and even Medicare tracks <laughs> yeah. that, right? Oh, do I mean, they really? I mean, if they're reimbursing, they're tracking the goals, the outcomes, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and all our patients take a survey. It's called a CAP survey. Okay. And we get graded on 23 different clinical measures. Wow. Such as? And, um, well, there's many of them. Yeah. Um, you Just know, to give did, me an example. Did, did we go over their medications? Oh, I got um, it. Okay. Did the person experience less pain after the treatment? You know, they okay. went through all the treatments. Um you know, can they move around easier? Just different, yeah. um, different exactly criteria said, like that. Yeah. But so that's all tracked and it's all public record. You can sure. actually go on Medicare Home Health Compare and look at our star rating. Oh, we did wow. have five. We did have a five out of five star patient satisfaction rating last month. So wow. it's something that we were really excited about. That's huge. Yeah, it really is. If the patients are happy with you, they're more motivated to get better. Uh -huh. And they get very excited when our PTs, OTs, um, nurses come over and mm -hmm. work with them. And I've seen people, you know, we've had people who might have had a minor stroke. And they get excited when they come over. And, you know, it might be something that we take for granted. Just getting out of your chair and walking 10 steps. Mm -hmm. But they're focused mm -hmm. and they're excited about it. So we do set goals and, um, you know, more often than not, we help people get better. I mean, it's like, it really is, it's like lifelong learning. We do just have different expectations as we get older, but being realistic, I think, sometimes it's hard to, 
understand that I may have to adapt my way of living. Kind of don't like that. Yeah. Yeah, you know, um, you know, we all hate change. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do you see that a lot with even the housing? Is it tough for people to downsize to know what to keep? Uh, with? Oh, absolutely. And that's why even the Cypress, we, we sought out a company out of Charlotte who ended up bringing the company down to Hilton Head called Fresh Start Transitions in order to help them um, get rid of their, get stuff out of the attic and get rid of their stuff and wow. take things to the charitable organizations. And as part of our marketing, we pay for 10 hours of that um, to help them. It's sort of a buffet. You can have, we, they can pack you or they can unpack you, or they can just help you clean out your garage. Oh, that's brilliant. I know, right? It's been, it's a home run, and people love it. And it's just that little bit of help that, like you were saying, you can do this. Yeah, exactly. You can be like a sideline exactly. cheerleader. Yeah. You, but I've you had those this. hats for 80 years. I, Don't make me get rid of them. <laughs> Shoulder pads are no longer in style. <laughs> <laughs> You never know. You never know. I, I like, so anyway. Yeah. Exactly. And you still have yours, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. You never know. I, I mean, and it's maddening for kids because yeah. the last thing you want to do is tell um, your mom, mom, that dress is hideous. You right. can't it's wear so it. Wrong. Right. That's so wrong. That's so wrong. And then, you know, let somebody else do it. It makes it life so much easier. And that's why we have them come in. It's been a home run. I us. love it. Stay with us. There's a lot more to come.